Well, good morning. We are back in the field. Well, sort of. We're at the beginning of the day, October 13th, and we will be starting on corn today until we get this harvest finished. should have been videoing while Lee was combining, wasn't thinking. Now I'm back in the seat and I guarantee there won't be very much of this video from me. Got a cold front moving in. It's really chilly out, much chillier right now than it was this morning when I showed up to work. Wind's blowing pretty darn hard. And according to Lee, it's supposed to be blowing like this maybe tomorrow as well. It's been one of those days. For some reason, the corn is not wanting to feed in the head very well it wants to ball up and not go through like it's supposed to so I have to get out of the combine and throw that wad of corn cobs and stalks towards the feeder house. Uh, Lee says that he feels that it's probably because everything is so dry now that it's having an issue with feeding. He said it's like combining feathers. I suppose he's right. I'm gonna guess I'm the only one that's ever done this, right? What do they call this? The row of shame? That's what it wants to do. It wants to ball up right there. early. I'm guessing that Lee is going to try to figure out what we can do before we put in another day tomorrow with this thing. Try to figure out how to make it feed. It's pretty night. It is supposed to get colder tonight. Probably be chilly in the morning. Anyways, we'll see you tomorrow. Good morning. Today is October 15 and feels very much more like fall today for sure. I think it was 40 degrees when I left home. if he got things figured out for that header so it feeds better beautiful morning look at those clouds too bad they don't have a little bit of rain in them
this is what we have to do when we fill up in the middle of the field. It's not bad yet. explain to you just a little bit what we've done because of the difficulties that we were having before with the head wanting to ball up down in that area. There's a piece of the header that has broke. It's a paddle of some sort and that piece is on its way. It should actually be here today. Yesterday, Lee tried to fabricate something to make work, but it didn't work. And so we're hoping that that piece that, that we're waiting on is going to help with the boiling down, like right in there, the boiling of the, of the, of the field matter. Um, he also lowered the plate of the head so it sits more flat instead of at an angle and that appears to be helping quite a bit and Lee informed me that the situation that we had two days ago with not getting the header to feed correctly and getting the cobs to ball up at the entrance of the corn head has a lot to do with how dry the corn is. And that is something that is not just us dealing with. A lot of the guys out there trying to get this dry corn to feed is a challenge. Right now it seems to be working really well. He has that, like I said, the face plate more flat. Um, we still have a little bit of that boiling up of debris right there but it's it's still continuing to feed in like it should it's not making me get out and unplug it so as of right now things are going just about as good as they can be
and unfortunately the dry weather continues. If all, if all works as it's supposed to in this field, we should get this one done by the end of the day tomorrow. Good morning! It's October 16th. Probably still have, uh, I don't know, 10 days to go. Who knows? Today will be a full day, hopefully. And with the weather that's coming up for tomorrow and Friday, we may have a couple of days off because it is supposed to be extremely windy again. And I know Lee is not one that really feels like he needs to try to push something when it doesn't need to be pushed. So with as dry as it is and as windy as it could be, I think that's a good decision. So let's see what today brings. My hands are so cold that's making my camera shake. Burr. sit up here where it's nice and warm. Lee is removing these ear savers in hopes of trying to prevent more uh, ears of corn from popping off before they get into the header. All things related to how dry it is. So we're just trying trying and retrying something to make everything work. Not the header's fault, it's just the conditions. Okay, I got my directions and I am headed to the field. Convenient that it's just right here. terraces have what they call risers, that orange thing 
right there. Sometimes if you don't know they're there, they tend to get ingested in the combine or they get run over or whatnot. But Lee's been helping his combine driver out by trying to plant around them. So that's been helpful. Not that I don't still knock one or two down, but when I do, Kermit comes behind me and picks them up, puts them back. They're supposed to be there to help with debris, I'm guessing, kind of like a filter. So when the terrace channel fills up with water, it's at that point where the water drains. That riser then is like I said, like a fil it acts like a filter to prevent a bunch of debris from going into that what they call tile. I believe the tile is just a a big tube that's been placed in the channel and directed the water to drain. If that's not correct, I'm certain somebody will tell me. Here comes another one. The snoot of my right side of my header hit that tile riser so I thought I would take you outside and just show you exactly what it is. So look it's just a, like a hole in the ground. Got a little bit of debris in there right now. And I'm just gonna set this set this back in here. See? Good to go. Now just let it rain. to see what I was talking about anyways. So we got the new uh, paddle thing in the header. So we'll see how that affects that one particular spot that wants to ball up with debris. And now it looks like we've got the new hubcap getting put on that back tire, back wheel. And we'll get back after it again. Not much left in this field.
Hey Jim and I really hope that you enjoyed today's daily update. If you did, why don't you give it a thumbs up for us? We'd like to know that. And be sure to hit the subscription button and the bell notification so that you know when the next video is up and ready to watch. Thank you and we're so glad you're along with us for the journey.